What's up, everybody? Unrested back again, and today we've got a JFAC about having a roommate in Japan. Sorry, we're going to have a lot of background noise here today. Uh, stores are starting to open at the mall I'm in, so you're hearing this loud squeaking over here. It's this. It's this door opening over here. Oil that thing. Get some WD-40, man. What's going on? Anyway, today's JFAC is about having roommates in Japan. Um, it's kind of something that might come up for you if you either stay here long term or if you even come here on a tourist visa and decide to stay here three months, um, you might find yourself renting a place with a friend. And there's some things you want to consider that are a little bit different maybe from the country you're from uh, when choosing a roommate or someone you can be compatible with. Um, maybe you're wondering, you know, you've, you've had a friend for a long time but you guys have never roomed together or you've never traveled in uh, small areas of get together or had to stay in a small apartment building together. Um, what's that going to be like in Japan? What are the certain things that you think both people should have as far as qualities of uh, being able to live comfortably in Japan with each other? Uh, well, the first thing I want you to think about is, is it somebody you're comfortable being very close to? Because most of the places you're going to rent are very small and you may not even have your own separate rooms. Um, is it a situation where you're okay undressing next to them? Um, is it one where you're okay being able to hear them go to the bathroom next to you? Because you're probably going to be able to hear that. Um, you know, so think about tight quarters. That's what I want you to understand. Now, some of those ex-military people out there have no problem with that at all. They're like, whatever, big deal. I've had to do that with like four guys in one area. Um, but for some people, that's like a big problem. Um, when I worked for a company called Nova, you didn't have a choice. They just threw you into an apartment with three guys and uh, they chose your roommates for you. You didn't even get to choose who they were. And uh, one guy was just crazy, crazy messy. A nice guy, nothing wrong with him, extremely intelligent. German guy, but he was incredibly messy. Uh, I mean, like, disgusting messy. Like, I don't, I don't know what he would cook, but when he would cook, every single dish in the sink would just be left with this, like, permanent grease, and he never cleaned his own dishes. And, like, when you would even try to go to clean them yourself, I remember, like, they would slip out of my hand and, like, break because there'd be so much grease on them, or, like, I couldn't get the grease off. Like, it was so thick, and he would never clean that up. And like the way he had cooked on the stove, he had like blackened the whole side of the wall and just his room was a mess. It smelled like the stench of sweat. Oh man, it was bad. He's a really nice guy though. So sorry if you're watching that now, ex-German roommate whose name I don't remember. Actually, I do remember his name. I shouldn't say it though. That's, that's too bad. I shouldn't say that because I don't know, maybe one day my channel will blow up and he'll, it'll get released and he'll lose his job because they'll be like, I heard you were super messy in Japan. Um, so, the other thing you got to think about is how messy are they? Uh, you don't want to live with a messy person. Um, messy people will make your place even smaller. If you're, li if you're living with a messy person in Japan, you will go insane. Trust me, I have seen it happen many a time in Japan where people are put together with another person, they didn't know how messy they were. They find out later that living in a one room mansion apartment, mansion does not mean it has multiple rooms, it means it's one room you will suddenly find yourself in an episode of Hoarders. Um, you will be crawling through mazes of trash to get out of your place. Um, things will be falling over. You won't be able to find anything. So I would make sure whoever you're living with is clean. Um, I, I myself pride myself on how clean I stay, um, how clean I clean my room up, how organized I am. Every drawer in my house I keep organized. I am a psychopath, perhaps to a point of a fault. Um, there's times when my wife actually tells me calm down and stop cleaning, uh, which maybe perhaps most women hope they can say to their men. <laughs> I hope, I hope. Um, but I'm pretty hardcore about cleaning. You can usually tell by the, everything in the back of my video that I keep everything pretty organized. Um, that being said, um, some other aspects are roommates that you want to make sure you guys go out the same amount of time. And I gotta explain that further, because you're just like, well, what do you mean go out the same amount of time? I wanna say like night pattern, like you guys go out at night. Like if you're a type of person who likes to hit up bars and drink, um, you know, you wanna make sure you got a roommate like that, because that is a very, very active thing in the city parts of Japan. There's very active nightlife, city life, and it can go all night. There's literally a Japanese word that means to stay out all night is all to, like do you wanna do an all to stay out until the trains start the next day at 5 a.m.? Um, if that's something you enjoy doing, you should make sure you have a roommate who enjoys doing that too because you coming home 
at all hours of the night, waking up your roommate probably isn't gonna be the best thing. You also wanna make sure the apartment you stay in is okay with that. Sorry, we're starting to hear the lights come on in here and the speakers start to talk about the stores opening. So sorry for the background noise for that. Um, but you wanna make sure the apartment you're in is okay with that. Some apartments have like a certain sound ordinance. We had one apartment we lived in and this, this might sound crazy to you, but you weren't supposed to like run water, vacuum, or uh, run your washer or dryer past midnight, which I could, I could understand vacuum. Vacuuming, I can understand. That can be pretty loud. Running water wasn't so loud. So what if I came home past midnight, I couldn't take a shower? Uh, so, I mean, you want to make sure your apartment works well with you like that. There's some pretty rough sound ordinances. Of course, you know, they're not going to arrest you. They're not going to evict you if you break those sound ordinances. But you will have some pretty unhappy neighbors if you do do that. So just, just realize that. Uh, you want to make peace with your neighbors. You want to be good with your neighbors. Here's one other thing you want to think about when you're getting a place. I know I said roommates, but I'm starting to talk about choosing an apartment in Japan. There's some apartments that have a code to get into your apartment complex. Like you have to enter in a code to get in the door or you need a, a key to get in the main door. And I'm saying the main door of the apartment complex. But some don't have that. And when they don't have that and you live in a big city like Tokyo or Osaka, you'll have door-to-door -door salespeople. Yes, they still exist in Japan and they do, they sell ridiculous shit. Like, I've had everything try to be sold to me by door-to-door -door salespeople. Um, one of the most ridiculous things was milk. Like, literally still selling bottled milk door-to-door, -door, which I was just like, what? And like, they, they will do it all hours, too. Uh, you want to be in the video? Is that what you, you want to... Right? Just stare at it. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, but that being said, uh, be careful that the place you choose you know, has some sort of lockdown that'll stop people from coming in. Um, make sure it has some way of allowing you to keep your own peace. If you don't, you will get like, I've gotten people at 7 a.m. try to sell me milk and then at 11 p.m. try to sell me high-speed internet. And like, even if you tell them the time, they're just kind of like, oh yeah, look at the time, that's pretty crazy. You're just like, what are you doing? Um, also, if you can check to see if you have a door where there's a camera showing you who is at the door, you can avoid a lot of stuff like NHK, who's gonna ask you for money for just watching your TV. Um, you don't need to pay that. A lot of the time, that's a scam. So I always, I always avoid that. I peel the NHK sticker off my door too, which a lot of people don't think to do. Um, when you move into your apartment, usually above your door, there's an NHK sticker. Peel that sticker off, unless you're a huge NHK fan, in which case you can pay the fee if you want to. Um, peel the sticker off, and when they come to your door, just I always point up to the door and I say, look, there's no NHK sticker, and they're like, oh yeah, oh. So that, that shies them away right on. I'm like, there's no NHK sticker, and they're like, why not? And I'm like, because I don't have a TV, and I don't watch NHK, and they're like, oh, oh. Some, some will get really aggressive, though, so you gotta watch out, man. Uh, some, some speak English. Um, some will, I've had some try to like push their way into my apartment and I smash their foot in the door. Um, but that being said, um, you know, think about your apartment you're gonna live in and think about the roommate you're gonna choose. Um, that's a subject, man, I can expand a lot more on this. I should do a whole series on choosing your apartment and who you're living with. And it's very different too if that person is Japanese, you'll have totally different things to expect. Um, or if they're gaijin, or if they're gaijin from different countries too because different gaijin act different ways. And that being said, that is your J-Fact today. I hope you enjoyed everything you saw. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am unrested.